Hey everyone, this is CS50's introduction to game development. Um, this is uh, assignment one, uh, Flappy Bird. And uh, I'm just going to walk through the changes I've made to the assignment code. So the first uh, requirement is uh, randomize the gap between the pipes. So the uh, vertical space, so they're no longer hard coded to uh, 90 pixels. So the line here in uh, pipe pair, uh, line 27, I've, uh, I left a comment here so it's kind of easier to see. So here I'm just using math.random and I'm generating uh, a figure between 90 and 150. Um, I thought going smaller than 90 made the game really hard, especially for me. So it's just randoming between these two. I thought that was a, a pretty good vertical height. That's the only change I made for that. Uh, the next one, randomize the interval at which pairs of pipes spawn so that they're no longer uh, two seconds apart. So that is in the play state lua, right, uh, in the play state file. And uh, I believe this is the only part I added here. Um, I randomized it between two and four seconds. Um, yeah, just, just so it could be 2, 3, or up to 4. Um, I, I thought it was better to have them more spaced out than uh, close together. No, no real reason, but um, yeah, it's randomizing that now. Um, the next part, uh, when a player enters the score state, award them a medal. Um, and any medal you choose. I chose gold, silver, bronze, um, but I use stars instead of medals. I mean, that's just a graphical choice, but... Yeah, and uh, the minimum score for each one. So in the score state Lua, um, I initialize my metal images. So I've got a bronze, silver, and gold. Um, I've got three constants for those. So that's the capital letters. They're local, local to this file only. Um, so in the render function here, um, I'm setting the font to the flappy font. I thought that was a nice font to uh, use with these. Um, so if the score is more than or equal to 3 and less than 5, so if you get 3 or 4, you get a bronze uh, star. Um, I'm drawing the image here. Um, uh, so it's the bronze medal image. Um, I'm putting it in the center of the screen as possible, so that's just the virtual width and height divided by 2. Um, I believe this one's the rotation and this is the scaling. I think that was right for the uh, draw function. And uh, I believe this is the size or the position. I, I don't remember which, but um, I'm getting the width of the image. Um, so this is my image here, up here. And there's a function called get width, and I'm dividing it by two. Um, this helps just get it right in the middle of the screen, um, the, uh, the image there for the award. And then over the top of that, I'm... Uh, using the flappy font here to just say you you win the bronze medal and putting that in the middle of the screen over the star so yeah th that's what I came up with then the same for silver but um, if you get a score of five uh, inclusive all the way to nine uh, so less than ten you get a silver and anything ten and over you get a gold if you don't get any of those, so really um, 0, 1, or 2, then you get the default if you lost uh, here too. Then I put this logic below this, uh, where we set the font for those and draw those out afterwards. So that's the change I made for the medals. Um, and implement a pause feature so the user can press P and P again to restart the game. And there's some sounds associated with that. I, I did use uh, BFXR to generate the uh, pause and then pause sound, it's the same sound. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do use an image for that too. So in main.lua, um, here we go, variables to handle game pausing. Um, so I put the scrolling variable in here and also give myself a pause image so they're local to main. Um, uh, we're gonna, this is mutable, so obviously it's lowercase, and this is a constant, so that's uh, uppercase there. Then if I search for pause, then I can, I use quite a lot of comments, so I can just find the code easily this way. So I added a, a sound to our sounds table, uh, pause, um, pause.wav, that's our pause sound. I'm going down again, 
So in live.update, um, we're handling the game pause, and I thought this was a good feature. It should only work when in the play state, so I'll, I'll cover that um, right now, actually. So in state machine Lua, um, I added another function in here called um, current state name. That just returns the, the name of the current state. So when we change the state, we just uh, take a reference to the one we're passing in, uh, storing that locally right here, and we're, we're just returning it out when we cause it, uh, call this. So in main, we can say um, when P is pressed, and we're in the current state of play, so we're only in the play state because we don't want to pause the game on the title screen, the countdown screen, or the uh, score screen. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So if it's scrolling at this time, that's the local variable I discussed uh, earlier. So if we're currently scrolling, then we want to play the pause music sound. Um, we want to pause, uh, sorry, <laughs> we want to pause the music sound. Uh, this is the function I looked up online in order to do that, sorry. Uh, then we want to play uh, the pause sound, and we want to toggle the scrolling um, variable. So it's just scrolling is not scrolling, so it'll be the opposite. And then we end that out here. Uh, underneath, I, I just said if we're actually scrolling, then continue with the kind of rendering of the game. So at the moment, we're not scrolling, so it'll skip over that, and the background and foreground will all freeze. And then underneath, draw using our scrolling variable again. So if we're not scrolling, then this is where we have the image for um, pause image here. So uh, I explained this from the score state Lua, um, how we center the image uh, right here, and then over the top using the flappy font, um, and we're just saying game paused. Um, so when we press P again, and we're in the play state, which we will be, um, then this time uh, on our second press of P, uh, we're going to resume the music. We're going to play the pause sound again, which is also the unpause sound. Toggle the scrolling, so that uh, the scrolling will now be true. Uh, so then we're going to resume the scrolling of the background and the foreground and anything in the update methods of the our state machine, and then in the draw it's going to skip over this because we're no longer in a pause state so that's how I implemented the pause um, originally I tried to add a pause state because um, I thought that was the way it was going to be I enter a pause state, I come out of it, but then I realized uh, when I change this it actually exits the previous state which I sort of overlooked um, so if we have a pause state, then the game just restarts when you unpause. So, um, yeah, something I, I sort of explored there, but uh, I felt this was the easiest way with the state machine logic we have in right now. Yeah. So, if I run the game, I'll just drag that over here. So pause, game pause, unpause, continue. Now you can see a pipe in the screen. Pause, pause. So we're going well. Let's see if we can get a bronze medal. So you can see the vertical spacing between the pipes is changing each time. It seems it's more really bad at this game. Let's try and get a silver medal. Okay. So there we go. You win the silver medal. Okay. Star, star medal. Yeah, you can play again. And you notice if I press P now, it's not pausing the game. So, and again, it won't pause it until we're in the play state. So, yeah, that, that should be all the requirements for assignment one. Uh, Flappy Bird, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. It was, it was quite fun actually to, uh, to uh, yeah, add those things. Uh, thanks for watching.